video, we're going to show how to actually download and install Q Post. So, Q Post is actually the software that we install into our computer to respond to all the customer service inquiries we receive, either from the buyer or from Q10 itself. Very simple. We just uh, oh, we just go to customer service under Q post right? Okay, you will show this. So we just click on this link. So we you will actually download. There will be a Q post setup. So once done, you just open up. Blah blah. Yes. So just follow the instructions. Yes and. After that, you will install into your laptop, uh, desktop or laptop. After that, you will have this logo over here. And once logged in, you will be able to see this interface. Okay, for this video, we're going to uh, familiarize how we how to use uh, Q pose. So this is the, so first when you log in, you ask for the login details. So exactly the same as how you log into QSM. Okay, everything is the same. So just follow this template and sign in. So once uh, in, in, you are in Q, so Q post, this is the interface for Q post. Okay, so uh, we can this this small box here actually show that what is actually pending inside Q box. Q post, so we can close this first. Okay, this so this is this is order. Okay, it can mean uh, it includes the new order and orders that have not been the new the orders have not been purchased. You all go to here. Okay, shipping is um, the items that is pending for to update the tracking and claim. So this is uh, when if there's any cancellation, refund request, or items not received, um, the buyer will actually send the re can actually request from here, and we will actually go to there's actually one interface for this, so we go to here. Okay, so this is the interface. I've got any video to show to show how to actually uh, process any cancellation, return, or refund. This is just for illustration purpose. Okay, we can close this. So this is inquiry. So we have two inquiry from customer. So for inquiry, that's actually uh, we assess from here, customer inquiry. Okay. So those highlighted uh, inquiry that uh, that have yet to be we have yet to be reply. Okay. So normally, if you want to reply, we just click on it. Okay. So this will actually show the history. And this is uh, communication. This is a chat history. Let's say when you go in, you know that what exactly happened previously. Okay. So this is so this is a request for delivery order. Okay. Uh, we will actually provide a template, and actually most questions here can ninety percent of them can be replied using a template. Okay, so uh, it's just copy the template and pasting here and send. So this is only one time reply. And another one that we need to take note is this star hotline. Okay, 
there's a difference between what what's the difference between customer inquiry and cloud hotline? Cloud hotline is uh messages sent from Q10, the e-commerce site that we are selling at. Okay, so uh this is very important because uh we want to show that uh we reply to the inquiry fast because um there's a risk that if we don't do that, Q10 can shut down our store and we can't sell any more in the platform. So of course most of the time why they message us because the buyer actually contacted Q10 to have they want urgent uh, request and Q10 will actually contact us directly through here. So we need to respond in one business day as soon as possible the next time the next day so there should be no delay every inquiry from Q regardless of Q10 or buyer should be replied within one business day but this will always take priority for me because uh, this must be replied within one business day for customer inquiry I think maximum maybe yes we can go to two business day okay Another one, this is uh, just a system notice. So uh, we don't have to do anything about this. This is just some alert. But sometimes if you see this cancel, cancel and refund. Request or notice for new order. So we can view from here, but nothing we need to do here. So mainly is this start hotline that we need to deal with and customer inquiry we need to deal with. So that's for all for pupils. Actually, it's very simple to use. And so I'll, I'll, so that's all for now.